beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. I have lost a little less than 70 so far and we're trekking along. This video, I want to talk about Fabletics. At 352.8 pounds, I stumbled on some ads for Fabletics and I mean, it's everybody's aware of Fabletics. I've been extremely anti-Fabletics up until this point. And let me tell you, there's a lot of things I hate about Fabletics, but I still shop there. <laughs> I still shop there and I buy my husband's stuff from there. So I'm going to give you all of the tea, all of the details. I don't care if you ever buy anything from Fabletics, but if you do, I want you to know. I want you to know the things that I wish that I knew and also things that I thought might just be me or like I was in some way like, Anyway, it's, we're gonna we're just gonna get into it, and I'm gonna try and make this snappy so that you can watch, and then you can get on with your shopping if you're doing it. And if not, then you know. There's always a jump around menu down below. There's going to be categories, and you can just jump to where you want to watch. And let's just dive in. <laughs> summary before I even get into this video because the video turned out to be quite long I just wanted to share a little bit so if this is all that you hear I feel I'll feel good about this video <laughs> Fabletics is my go-to brand for workout clothes especially when I was at my heaviest I really believe in buying cute workout clothes now and not waiting for some future version of yourself to somehow be deserving and I love that Fabletics has created a space where all the way up to 4x you can find cute functional workout clothes let me just go over the pros and cons of fabletics i definitely have a love-hate relationship with fabletics so let's start with the cons they use the same styles and variations and often change the names of their products so sometimes it's hard to shop for online even when you know what you're looking for their customer service is pretty terrible. I mean, terrible. I've had a couple amazing experiences with them, but mostly anytime I've had to cust like contact customer service, it's been horrible. They hang up or disconnect. Um, they just repeat the same script. It doesn't matter what your problem is, but it's just annoying and be aware. You may get good service, but you're probably not going to. And I still order Fabletics. So I'm probably I'm probably part of the problem. <laughs> inconsistency in the quality of their products sometimes you might order something and it's amazing you might order something that is the same product in a different color and it comes back not as great if you're ordering their sports bras it might be really great quality and then all of a sudden you order a sports bra and it's like a, a complete joke so very inconsistent in quality of products then there's inconsistency in fit which is common with all brands but typically the less quality pieces are the worst fits and it's not always clear what's going to be good quality and bad quality from the images on their website i feel like they're gimmicky and this is because they do not make it clear when you're buying an item that is not eligible for return they kind of snuck in an import tax i realize that's common for other countries but here in the states it's not very common to specifically pay an import tax and i just feel like it was i feel like it was gimmicky <laughs> i just feel like they do like a lot of little things that i per i see and now for the pros there are three pros and that's all i need <laughs> i can find clothes that fit they make me feel cute and they make my workouts better. I love that there are so many options for plus size. Also, I love that when you do shop their sales, even though that's, I feel like most often when you end up not being able to return things, even if it's not clearly marked that you're not gonna be able to return it, but when you shop their sales and you do their bundles or do sales on tops of bundles, you could get really amazing deals. But mostly it's that I can find clothes that fit that are cute and that makes me happy. So clearly I have a love-hate relationship with Fabletics. While the pros list is shorter, it is definitely enough to keep me coming back for punishment, you know? <laughs> Let's get into power hold leggings. So we are gonna start with this lovely group of leggings here. They are mostly power hold. What I've noticed with Fabletics is they will have very similar leggings that are named different things. And then they will change the names, but it's the same, the fabric's the same, the texture's the same, the fit's the same, and then sometimes you'll find one that you really love and then they'll change the name and they're giving you this, but it's that. Now some people 
a lot of people swear by the power hold. The power hold and me are not BFFs. We, I, they're not my favorite and I'll get into why. But let me just show you a few things here. So one, there are things that I love about even the power hold. Um, so these leggings up top, I have a better, I have better luck with. What I love most in a legging is black. And I like for them to fit a certain way. And I like to have as little chafing as possible if I'm wearing leggings. And I feel like that's not too much to ask for. I also sometimes think, I, I actually like color. <laughs> I wanna wear colorful things. I splurged and spent way too much money on Fabletics and it took forever for it to come. So we're gonna talk about customer service, shipping, and some like just company things. But first, we're gonna continue this. So I do love these even though they're power hold. However, the fabric is a lot thinner on these. The fabric, it's just different. And I think that's because for prints and dyes and things, I think it might change the fabric. Um, or they might use slightly different things in fabric, even if the fabric lists stay the same. So. I love their leopard print. It's probably my favorite. I'm wearing the brawl. I also ordered shorts. So I have these in shorts as well. And I love all of it. So the sports brawl, I can't remember the specific name of it, but it is one of the sports brawls that I like the most, even though there's things that, anyway, we'll just, we'll save the brawl talk for a minute. Um, these, I love. These are some of my most favorite. Things. They do not look that great on me. I feel like they never really have. Um, the one thing that's dangerous with patterns if you have a large stomach is that, especially if you, like, I think everyone almost with really large stomachs, like our legs don't always match. Or maybe you have the opposite problem where your legs are larger and your upper body's smaller. If it fits in one area and it's tight in the other, you, the pattern starts to stretch. One thing I do like about Fabletics and this specific fabric is that that happens less than it does with other clothes that I've ordered, other brands. I also loved this. And sometimes it's just a little strange. So the undertone for this is like a pink. So it's printed on a pink fabric and then they've got the pink coming through so it's really cute but it's also it's just interesting to me it was interesting i do love the caramel color of this so these are my like cheetah print pants <laughs> um in the power hold and so i do actually like those these are now like called trin these uh, i'm confused and so i don't want to confuse you further but I thought I was ordering something called Motion 365 fabric that Fabletics has, and that is my favorite, and we I will show you those. That is not what these are. So I talked about this in a, a recent video where I talked about several places I get active wear. I have worn these a few times. They are better than the other ones I'm gonna show you in a lot of ways. They are more sheer though, which is not good. That's one. <laughs> and two, I still experience the same sort of pocket that uh, creates like it's like a weird it's like a weird area so with these leggings and it happens less with the prints i've noticed but i don't like the prints as much on my body i like them when i look at them but then when i put them on my body i don't like it as much i don't know how to describe it and a lot of the things that i'm going to share it's literally just personal preference these are my personal preferences and the thing about fabletics is i feel like they have something for everyone of any size, but you may have to order lots of things in order to find those things that you like. Um, and then you may order something that you've been ordering and you love it and all of a sudden they've changed it and it's terrible. So <laughs> it's a hit or a miss and we'll get into like, on one hand, you can return stuff fairly easy with Fabletics, which is awesome. On the other hand, randomly, they disqualify things from being returned. And you don't always know that at the point of sale. So when you're buying it, you don't always know that like, by the time you get it, they're gonna have blocked you from returning it, period. And that sucks. That sucks, and we'll circle back to that. Okay, so going back to these, I one other thing I love about the power hold is they do always have pockets. Now they've started putting pockets on the other thing, the other types of fabric that I like, and that makes me really happy. These, I was so in love with when I got, and the issues that I have with them are that I have that I have this pocket, and it was a bigger pocket. Um, so the fabric doesn't really hug your body. So like people have, I've heard people say in reviews, um, these compress 
the power hold and it, maybe it makes you feel like it's holding you in place. For me, it never has made me feel that way and it tends to slide and it also tends to expand as the day goes on. So it will create like a pocket, like a, it creates like a crotch pocket. <laughs> Meaning like the fabric starts to droop there and then like your upper thighs are like rubbing together if you have like a, a stomach flap, like things are starting to like rub, the fabric stops wicking after a while on my body. And then I have like, I have issues that I don't have with other pants. And so I prefer not to get these. And I try so hard not to order this fabric, but as you can see, I have ordered this fabric a lot. Now some of these, a lot of these are from that first order, but other times I think I'm ordering the other fabric. I get so excited. I'm like, this is the other fabric. And then I get them and I'm like, snap. And almost all the time, not always, but it happens a lot to me that I go to return stuff and the square for me to return, you have to check a box is gone. They're no longer eligible and it says no longer eligible for return. So I know I said that last time and somebody was like, well, why don't you just contact them? That's a whole nother story. I have contacted them a lot and I don't enjoy that process. But if you know what you're gonna get, then you really can't complain about it. I know for my, with my experience, I'm going to get crappy customer service with Fabletics. It's gonna be crappy. So there's no reason to get in a bad mood about it. There's no reason to like puff up about it. It's going to be crappy and not very helpful most of the time. <laughs> and then the times that it, people are happy. So there have been extremely like kind and helpful people those that's the exception and then I leave that that so much better so like I'm prepared for it to be terrible because it usually is and then that's just what I expected so I'm like okay whatever but when it's really awesome I'm like huh, that's the, just made my day um so one thing I love about the power hold is that when they have sheer fabric like this blue they they sew in a panel so you'll see this on this blue i have some pink ones and some white ones now i hate the way the light colors in this fabric without the pattern so the pattern i don't love the way it looks with the light colors i hate the way it looks i still wear them because i bought them so sometimes i will still wear them these right here, these teal ones, I was sure were the other fabric and they actually aren't that bad. So these are very close to the, I don't know if it was like a, a they were shifting their fabric. This fabric and this fabric are very similar. Um, and I don't know if it comes across on camera, but once you start washing the power hold, um, it tends to like with most cotton things, like it, you can see the wear. Um, whereas with the Trinity, you can't. Another thing is, let's see, on the inner thigh, you can really see how it starts to wear. I think the shorts are worse because the, I wore the shorts a lot in the summertime. I don't know, it's like it's like something, look at my, mach my laundry machine ate some of my Fabletics clothing because I have this right here what I'm wearing is Fabletics. And I have a black one, it is my most favorite thing and like one of my most highly worn items, this white one and that one. And I have a bright orange one. I wear them all the time when it's cooler and I can't find my black one. I don't know. I know I wore it randomly like in the summer, occasionally. Um, so then we have the red power hold and it's the same thing. I thought I was gonna be so in love. I think that these, I was the most disappointed in these and they um, created those pockets really bad. Now these, are very special because I wore them on my first one mile for time video. So I have a couple pieces like this where like this set, I have a sports ball that matches. It's something that I'm just gonna keep. Um, now the pink I got and I thought was so cute until I posted a video and everybody thought I was naked. It was like the worst thing. I've had other videos where people think that I'm naked. Like I have a polka dot set, but I feel like with polka dot it's, it's less obvious more obvious that I'm wearing pants than with this. But again, it's got that paneling in the back. So it's like a privacy panel for your pants. And I love that. One thing I love, and it's also not always true though, a lot of things Fabletics has amazing quality. 
but it's like it's either amazing quality or it's complete and total poop. Um, there's not a lot of in between. And even though I've complained about like the Fabletics um, power hold stuff a little bit, um, there's a lot of really amazing qualities. And some people, it does hold them in where they want to be held. And a lot of people love the Fabletics um, power hold. I just am not one of them. And then I have the white. And then this outfit right here is a very special outfit. Um, and I love it. It also is one of those things, I don't love it because of the way it looked on me. I fell in love with the pictures online and I ordered it and it's got this side panel, it's like color blocking. And the stuff online is far from reality often. And this brawl right here, I highly recommend staying away from. I'm sure there's people out there that love it. One, there, it's got these lines around the cross, the front, horrible. And then the back, this elastic is painful. Like it's not, it doesn't dig in like it's too little. Like something about the way they do the stitching on the back, it like rubs. As you move, it's like rubbing back and forth and it's hard enough to where when you first put it on, you might not be like, ooh, that's uncomfortable. But as it starts to rub because you're moving and it's not very supportive, so it moves a lot, it literally rubs your skin raw. So I would not, this is like my advice and you can take it with a grain of salt because it's just my experience um, that I had and you might have a different one. I would stay away from any sports bra from Fabletics that looks like that with this elastic down at the bottom. I loved this outfit. The bra was terrible. The pants did not look very good on me. And I'm pretty sure they wear shapewear under the pants at times and they wear extra support under the tops of their bras, especially for plus size. And that's fine. They're trying to sell their product or whatever. But when you look at their products online, you're not always going to get a good representation on how it's going to fit or how it's supposed to fit. And then every single person and body is very different. They do do a really good job of having varying body types and models on their website. I will give them that. But at the same time, like the products are not always, they're, they can't do any better. You're buying it online. So if you're gonna do Fabletics, probably the best thing to do is to find a Fabletics store. But hopefully this video, it helps. They don't, again, light colors because of my belly and stuff. It's just not gonna look like what in my mind I think it might look like. And part of that and the majority of that is just my body doesn't look, not like I want it to, I know that, but sometimes I don't know exactly, like it doesn't translate. So, which I mean, it's fine. You just wear like a t-shirt and it covers for the most part. So I like that. The green, I, th I said that about the light colors, but the green has always looked really, really good, um, I thought. And it's this Motion 365 fabric. That is the stuff that I like. And it's got like the little pockets on the back. These are some of my most favorite pants, these green ones. If I get these, this specific pant, I have never had a problem. So this is the same pant in a green. That was a different season. Um, these two are a utility version. I have a lot of these black leggings. I already shared with you, black is just my favorite. I'm most comfortable. I've decided like, as far as what I like on my body, I typically like a bright colorful sports bra or a black sports bra, doesn't matter, but I can do fun sports bras even though no one really ever sees them in real life. And then plain black leggings, that's what I'm most comfortable in. And it's this specific style. So the Motion 365, they label it at different times, different things on the website. So what you're looking for is just the, the Motion 365. Um, and let's see if I can just share what the material is. This tag might be a little too... So this is 75% nylon and 25% elastane. 
So what this does though is it's a little bit wicking or I feel it is for me. I don't know if it's technically wicking and supposed to be, but for me it does. And it hugs the right places not i'm not talking about aesthetically hugs i'm talking about functionality it hugs the right places where there's no like pocket of like humid sweaty nastiness rubbing together that's what it does and that's why i love these so much and i think they look really nice also dog hair does not stick to these quite as much as it does the power hold the power hold is like a lint roller i could literally clear the pet hair off of my couch just using the power hold legging Okay, so these are, I have seven eighth lengths, I have full ones, and I have shorts. But these, I know I'm not talking about them very much, but it's because I only have positive things to say and you don't only need to hear the positive things. So we're almost done with talking about my favorite. The, now, sometimes these used to be called, I don't wanna talk about the names of them because the names change. And I was so disappointed when I got my order, a, like it was like a month ago. And the two that I ordered, because I was so excited to be like sizing down again. And then the pants were just not the pants. So these are utility ones. Again, when you look at the inside, it's gonna say Motion 365. And it usually indicates that it's the Motion 365 or will say something like it on their description. So when I very first tried everything on, um, I hated, so the very first order I got is I got these right here, and it was the only type in this fabric that I got that specific order, I think. No, there was one other. Yeah, there's a black pair, because it's in all of my videos. Um, I hated this. I thought it was my least favorite. But after getting the black, I saw the light. <laughs> and changed my mind. So, um, and I also started experiencing the others and I noticed I didn't experience by others. I mean like the weird sweaty yuckiness. So, and I didn't with these and I liked that even though I didn't like the way they looked. Now these are equally my favorite and they are different. They are not the Motion 365, but they feel like it. And these I wore so much. So these are 88% polyester and 12% um, elastane. But these are winterized leggings and they, so they're thicker. They're thicker fabric and it's a little bit soft on the inside. And they definitely, it's, I don't think that they're like rated for a certain temperature. I know in Missouri, they were very comfortable. Here when it's been cold, it's very comfortable. However, they are not like hot. I can still wear them if it's warm outside and be fine. I don't always, hardly ever actually, but I could. So these are definitely like for me, top tier priority. Like I really like these. They do keep my legs a little bit more warm than the other ones. I think my legs just, my legs are not really, they don't get too cold. So my legs are not that important to me. Like I could probably wear shorts most of the time and probably be fine. I wouldn't, probably could. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to sports bras. This is a personal preference and it might be like an unjust biasness. I spent $50, 50, five zero on a sports bra from Fabletics last year, it was red. And the first time I put it on, the hard wire snapped. It was not tight. I had lost weight at this point and I had ordered the size I was already wearing. So the other sports bras that I had had started to get a little roomy. And so there was plenty of room in there for my girls. And it still, I put it on and it just snapped. And I feel like that's common with hardware and also different fabrics, especially cutesy stuff, stuff that's put out like in collaborations, um, I find is the least good. Like it's usually disappointing for me. This is my favorite sports bra. And at first it wasn't because of the back. It's got all of these like cutouts and stuff. And I was super insecure. I also, I don't like like, if I were gonna film something, it wouldn't be my favorite because it shows off all of my back fat. But for whatever reason, 
it's very supportive. Now it's ranked high, high impact. None of their, I have not put on a Fabletics bra that is high impact. No, not even close. Maybe the one that busted. Maybe if it didn't bust, it would have been high impact. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't mean to get all super sassy, but I love this bra. It's actually the one I'm wearing now, but in leopard. I love that it's a little bit higher up. Um, some of these are not, they're lower. And then you can just see my sagginess and I don't love that. Especially now that I'm having, I have like deflated sagginess. That's what I'm starting to get. It's super exciting. So I have this next bra right here in so many different colors. And just like with the power hold leggings, they all are slightly different. Um, the way that they feel, the way that they fit, not dramatically. I think it's like the dyes and stuff that they put in the fabrics, but I like the pockets. I like the way that these feel. Um, these all have slight, a little mesh paneling in the back and that's, that's good. It is giving, they rank this a medium and I feel like it's a very true medium. I have compared these to the Nike sports ones that are just very basic. And these are the Nike sport ones, um, that I'm talking about are my favorite brawls. Like, so I don't necessarily have to have a super high impact. I don't know if they've just always like bounced so much that I'm like immune to it or if my bouncing just has never been as bad as maybe other people's bouncing is. Now I'm gonna not talk about this. So I have this in white and as you can see, the mesh discolors in just as I wash it. So in the pink, it's like a darker, it went darker and then on the white, it got more yellowed. So it's, it's actually fine, I don't really care. Um, so this is another one that's rated a high impact. Now, I do like that this comes up really, really high. Like it almost comes up to my collarbone when I'm wearing it. Um, and I have this in a few different colors. It also has um, the weird pockets. It's got like three different pockets back here, which it's cute. I don't know why anyone would need three pockets on the back. I'm sure you, you might know, so you can let me know. Um, but I do love this one getting rid of the ones. So this is the same in red. This is the same in tan. Um, this is the same brawl, but they had changed the back. So the back looks a little different. This is another one where these, I swear these were like on the same image. Like when I clicked the brawl, they were up in different colors. And that one has like the one pockets where this one still has the three. So I do really like these. The problem that I do have with these is I could see this band being more constrictive than this band. This fabric, even though it's supposed to be high impact, is not, it's very giving. So I, because of my size, so if you're not super heavy like me, you're not probably not gonna have this problem, but I have this fat right here. And it like creates an extreme roll and then it's a little painful sometimes. So the option is to size up and then, it's not fitting up here. So that's a little frustrating, but as far as like what I've worn, it's it works the best for me, which makes it worth it. And the reality is, is a company like Fabletics cannot make something for every single body. Like it's impossible to make something that's going to fit us all. Like we're not gonna get tailored clothing and it just is what it is. And I think that that transcends size. I think even if you are a straight size person, I think that's how people refer to it, or a plus size or a mid size, whatever you are, like every single person is built so different. So things are not gonna fit us all the same. Like, so I'm not faulting a fat Another one that was ranked high impact. And I don't love it. It's not supportive. It's one of, the less supportive of these, but these are all tolerable. Everything that I've shown you up to this point, except for the ones with the lines in the front are all tolerable. So here's this one that I just got. And you can see like what they're trying to do, I think is open it up. So it's like cute in the back, but what that does, it just lets my back fat roll over. And then as I'm moving, it creates like a weirdness and it creates um, discomfort with the way my body rolls over those sides. So 
there's that. We're almost done with the bras. So again, in case you missed it, this brawl is the worst brawl. And it's because this back, the way they sew this, it creates friction. So it might not be uncomfortable when you first put it on, but as you wear it and it moves, and it will move, um, it creates like rawness on my skin. So this one, I don't know what it was rated, but as far as size, this stuff like this is a joke. This, this bra is not supportive at all. It's very uncomfortable to be as like soft and flexible as it is. It's very uncomfortable. And I would just stay away from anything if you're plus size. If you're like an A cup and like 120 pounds, you might like wear this and it might be great. You might be a lot heavier than that and you might wear it and be it'd be great. But for me, this flimsy fabric did nothing. It's the most uncomfortable and like the biggest waste of money. These brawls, they do like these trendy tight brawls and they say they're low support, like low impact or whatever. They're terrible. <laughs> I would stay away from any of this, like pretty much anything that's like super like cutesy, like and obviously not for functional purposes, just stay away from. It's not going to be cute. You're not gonna be able, I can't do my yoga in this. It also, they're so weirdly cut that they literally fit nowhere. But it's like usually if something fits like that, it's because I'm like really petite and short. Um, and so like certain spots of my body aren't as long as maybe other people's, but I'm like, I have trouble seeing this fit anyone. And after I buy it and I see how it fits, I've gone back and looked at the models. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they wear stuff underneath and I know they clip stuff behind them to make it look better fitting. So this, horrible, horrible per like purchase. I thought it was gonna fit and be fine. Like this side's fine. This side though, just like letting it flop out. So we just say no. No to the cutesy stuff. Sculpt knit, okay, it's on it. So these are their sculpt knit line. Their sculpt knit lines are interesting. I don't really have a problem with, with it. They just fit, it's just, it's like a weirdness. Sometimes they look really good though. Um, it's kind of almost like they're like a tights, like a really thick tight. And then this is like, it's like a, it almost feels like a resistance band, like a light resistance band that you would do use for workouts. So um, they don't necessarily look bad. I have worn this black pair maybe once. Um, this is the same pair, but it's like in a mauve. It also looks like I'm not wearing any pants, so I stay away. These have like all of these cutouts, and I love the way they look on. So this is one of my favorite pairs of Fabletics leggings, but it's more has more to do with the color than this type. And it's not the most comfortable to work out in. It's not terrible to work out in, but there's just, there was better for me. Um, this outfit I wore in a photo um, with this, actually this white thing last winter and it was very pretty. But these are like their Lux leggings and they're very similar to the Sculpt Knit. Yeah, Pure Lux is what they're called. And they're just, they're nice leggings. They're not going to be, like they're not for any type of intense working out, I wouldn't say. But none of these, the Sculpt Knit nor the Lux, do I have that pocket issue that I have with the power hold. So, and then this is one where it just makes me sad. Like this one, I would get a strapless bra just so I could wear it because it's so stinking cute. And I never would have thought to do that. Except for my friend. My friend wears, um, wears strapless bras under her sports bras from Fabletics so they fit better and look better and they look great on her. They look so good. But I don't, if I'm working out, I'm not putting on two bras. When I'm working out, I'm not putting on two bras. Let's move on to shorts. <laughs> so the shorts, the power hold shorts, it's the exact same thing. They're the exact same thing. I had the same issues. Um, now I did tell you that 
the legs rubbed, but now that I'm looking at it, the legs were worse on the pants. So what I was noticing isn't really that bad, I would say, um, as far as the chafing. Um, and then I have these, which was like a weird, a weird one. Um, this right here is what made it weird. Like they look so cute, but then having like literally like a quilt on the side of your shorts was uncomfortable. Plus I broke my femur bone when I was two. So my right femur is shorter than my left femur. And it's extremely noticeable when I wear long shorts because the nine inch shorts go all the way past like the tops of my knees. What well, goes to the top of my knee on my left side and on my right side, it goes halfway down my kneecap. So not the best. And then these are the Motion 365 fabric and the five inches. Five inches is just a little bit too short. Anytime I see a six inch, a six inch short, I, I my honest opinion on Fabletic tops, which is what all of these are. So some of them are sports bras. I'm not talking about jackets, just their shirts and sweaters um, is just pass. Also, I don't even have any joggers. The joggers I bought, it's the same, it was the same fabric as these two sweaters right here, the sweatshirts. It's the worst fabric. It does like the little ball stuff and it was just terrible. So I did, I, I threw them away. Like after like two times wearing and washing them, they were like unwearable and I'm not being like extreme. Like I would wear some ratty looking stuff around the house. It was not wearable. So just throwing that out there, I would probably always pass on shirts. Like I don't have a lot of them, this is it. And it's because I am significantly disappointed almost every time. Like, look at this. Like, what is this? Like maybe it looks like it's supposed to be like some cute thing, but it just fits weird, it looks horrible, and it's like the worst quality. So, um, I do like these tank tops a little, but what I don't like about them is all the lines and stuff in them. It just looks weird. Just looks weird on. What I find with Fabletics tops is they hug all the wrong places. If you have a spot on your body that you don't love, it will find it and then accentuate it to where it looks worse. Now, if you don't have any extra extra to love, maybe that doesn't apply to you or maybe you're built differently or maybe you see things differently than I do and all those things are okay. But in my opinion, their tops are terrible. When I do their the monthly, the $50 thing, I always do a sports bra and bottoms. I never get tops. Well, I've clearly gotten some tops, but I try not to get the tops because I feel like they're an extreme waste of money. Now, that being said, these jackets right here, anytime you see them, they sell out super fast. And I recommend just jumping on it. So it's got like this flap and the mesh, so it's very breathable. It's got like a little pocket right there. It's got zip pockets on the front which are quite nice. The hardware is very nice. I haven't had any issues with any of the zippers on this. Um, it's just a very nice. So I have a black one, which is not up here right now. I just got this pink one, which is sizing down for me. Um, then I've got this bright one and I've got this white one. So the black one and I think this one are 4x and then this one is a 3x and then the pink one is a 2x and the reason i went ahead and sized down is i probably didn't necessarily need to size down i like it to be a little bit more giving but um by the time february rolls around i'm gonna need that and so they're so stretchy that i'm like it's fine it's fine for it to be a little tight like when i bought 4x stuff from fabletics in the beginning i probably need bigger than a 4x and I just didn't know and it wasn't an option. So I jumped on the 4X train. I have had very good experience with their jackets. So I don't have a lot of their jackets. I have this one and this is the one. 
this is what I have. So, I mean, I guess what I'm wearing here is jackets. That's what I'm referring to. And then I have this one. So this one actually zips up into a pillow. So it's like double functional. Um, I thought that was really cool. So like if you are traveling and you want a neck pillow, you don't want to have to figure out what to do with your jacket when you're flying or you're driving um, long times, long periods of time, and you don't want to like sit there in your jacket the whole time. I think that that's really cool. This looks really good. It's hell up. I've worn it a lot and it fits really nicely now. Last year when I bought it, I couldn't zip it, the bottom. So I still wore it, but it was not the idealist. Back in Missouri, I started ordering Fabletics for my husband and the men's Fabletics stuff, with the exception of one thing, there's really two, I guess, downsides, but one of them, Anyway, let me just talk about it. Let me just talk about it. Okay, the quality of the men's stuff is way superior to the women's, even the best women's stuff. The men's stuff is just made better. I don't understand why it's made so much better. I guess with women, they just are like, why they're just gonna buy more so soon so we can just put out a crap product and then they're just gonna repurpose, like rebuy and it's fine. And men are harder on stuff. I don't know if like they're stereotyping that way, if there's data to back it up or what, but the men's stuff is just better quality. It's sewn better, the stitching's better, the fabric's better. And with the shorts, it doesn't really translate that it's better because you're like, well, there's not really those types of shorts in the women's, but I'll show you the sweat stuff. And then I didn't bring his, he's got a few joggers. He's got, several of the sweatshirts that zip up, a ridiculous amount of the shorts, and a lot of the tops. The tops on the men's, you can get them so inexpensive because they'll do a two for like 30 bucks sale. And I just, whenever I see that, I hop on, which I don't do it anymore because he's got plenty, he's got all the athleisure and athletic apparel that he needs for a good, good period of time. So, and then there's these. So I like that while they have an obnoxious logo on it, it's so discreet. I don't even think my husband knows that it's there. My husband is pretty anti-logo. Um, but so these, you can choose to buy them lined or unlined. And so it, it really doesn't matter to my husband. He's gonna wear shorts underneath if they're not lined and if they're lined, then he doesn't. But I love their shorts. He loves their shorts more importantly. More importantly, the stuff for him he loves and that's why we continue to get it. So then the men's sweatshirt, like this sweatshirt, I wish so much. They had some cute like colors for women because these are just, it is such a nice sweatshirt. It feels great, it's amazing quality. He has worn the crap out of all his Fabletics sweatshirts and we didn't get very many because they're fairly expensive but it's worth it because when we get inexpensive sweatshirts for him, he does wear through them very quickly and then they're holy and he'll still wear them. He doesn't care, he'll wear a holy sweatshirt, it's fine. It's kind of like me, like for the most part, if it's still, if it doesn't cause me physical pain, I'll probably still just keep wearing it. Um, but then I also clearly have had way too much fun over the last 15 months buying activewear. Shirts are the only gripe he really has about the shirts is that he runs those Spartan races and if he wears a, one of these shirts, it gathers the water and it gets heavier. So even when he goes and works out, um, if he sweats like buckets, which here in the, with the humidity he does, um, then his shirt gets heavy and hangs, which for the most part is fine. Um, but when he's trying to be competitive, he doesn't need an extra thing weighing him down like that. So, um, but the shirts he loves, the other complaint, I already mentioned what he doesn't like the logos. I ordered him one shirt and I stay away from it now. I didn't notice it when I was ordering it, but it has like this huge Fabletics logo on the side. It was just horrible. And um, so yeah, I avoid it, but that's the men's. Last category just my experience with them as a whole. It is very apparent to me that, and they are a business, so it's okay. It's okay that they're this way. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be or anything, but they are very much about their bottom line. They're about making money. They do not care about you and that's okay. It's annoying when companies try to oversell their like community involvement or whatever. Maybe the individuals who work there are, but as a collective, I 
feel like they do not care about anything except for money and manipulating the way things look so that they can make more money, which is fine. That's why a lot of businesses are. It's just important to be aware of that when you get the gimmicky stuff. Like there's so many gimmicky things with them as far as like it not being obvious when you're gonna buy something and not be able to return it. But one of their huge like selling points is that if you buy it doesn't fit, you can return it. Like that's frustrating. Um, let's see, they started charging an import tax and I don't know how many places to do this. I know most places just raise the price of the items. I think what I'm saying here is they are a business. They really only care about the bottom line and that's okay. You should care about your bottom line too. And it's not like a small town, like a shop that's opened where the people love what they're doing and selling and it's about community and involvement. Like you need to shop local for that really. Um, when you're shopping at these big corporations, oh, it's, it's overwhelming to think about. And there's so much research that goes into uh, marketing and not just marketing, but like the way to position and like what colors um, are like out front. Like it's kind of like for lawyers, for instance, they I in um, legal studies in school, I was told that brown. So like juries respond best to lawyers wearing brown suits. Um, for different things. So it's like a weird thing, but it's just keep in mind, keep your emotions in check, I guess, if you're like me when you're shopping and shop for your needs if you're gonna shop for Fabletics. Um, and buy the cute stuff, buy the colorful things. And if it doesn't fit like you think it would or could or should, like they probably did something to make it fit different. And you could do that too by putting some shapewear underneath or doing something else. So it's all what you wanna do. I just wanted to paint like <clears throat> the clearest picture. I probably could have gone into more detail and spilt more tea about like the customer service issues and stuff. Um, what was it? They did things like cancel orders, but didn't actually, they still were trying to charge me for parts that they had canceled because they didn't have it. Like just like weird, it's always been weird issues. And I'm like, this is this is happening. And they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, this is happening. And they're like, no, it, it's frustrating. And it's because it's, it's just a huge business. Fabletics is a huge business. Now their clothes, when it works, they're amazing. My husband loves his Fabletics stuff. I, the things that I wear and I love, like this, my sports bra that I'm wearing, the pants that I'm wearing right now, I love it. It is my favorite. And these are the things that are like my staple pieces, especially the black leggings. Like, so just find your staples and hopefully this video is helpful. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully I didn't just waste all of your time. And thanks for watching this one with me. I have wanted to do it for so long so long i wanted to spill all of the tea and hopefully i didn't just ramble when i spilled that tea that you needed to hear <laughs> love you so much and i'll see you on monday